The first thing you're told as you enter the world of the old city, Leviathan, is you are about to inhabit a broken mind. Not everything you see or hear is trustworthy. And with that, you're let loose to wander the broken and lifeless world of this game. It's a world where something bad has happened to the human race, although you don't know exactly what. But it's left most people split into warring factions, each faction with their own strict ideology that they try to enforce on everyone else. And you play as an isolationist, someone who has rejected the petty conflicts of these factions and lives alone. I wonder if the dwellers would cluster together like rats if they really understood the true value of isolation. All of their pathetic little wars and ridiculous assumptions of superiority would be washed away if they all had their own private labyrinths to roam around in. Granted, they could never understand the importance of the individual, the megalomania of justice in the guild, order, and, yes, even the unknowing. It's far too strong. There really is no point in even attempting dialogue. As you wander around, your main goal is to understand why the world is the way it is, and to understand what has happened to you and those around you. Your character may be an isolationist, but he has had some contact with other people, especially other people like himself that don't like the factions and choose to live alone. The main way that you're able to figure out what has happened is by reading various notes left by people. Most of these are basically short diary entries, but there are also much longer notes that you can find called Solomon's Notes. And calling them notes is not really accurate, since they're more like short stories, and many of them are frankly massive. However, reading these didn't feel like a chore. Instead, they actually became my favorite part of the game. These notes are intensely personal writings from the lonely mind of Solomon, who is probably the most important character in the game. They're extraordinarily well written. Every time I read them, I was just so engaged by them, I couldn't turn away. I would get swept into the mind of this man who is bitter and lonely, this sad person who is a product of a sad world. As you might expect, reading his writings is depressing, and isolation, loneliness, and depression are big themes in the game. But reading his writings isn't just depressing, it's also intriguing, because Solomon is a very smart person, and in the huge amount of time that he's spent being alone and isolated, he's come up with unique and brilliantly worded reasons for basically why everything sucks and we should despair. It's kind of darkly humorous, actually. These notes just brought this character to life so vividly that he felt real. And the notes didn't feel like some separate entity from the game that could be removed without hurting the experience. Rather, every note made me feel more immersed in the world and helped me understand why everything was the way it was. I've tried to think of good comparisons to make for what kind of game this is, and the best I can come up with is that it's kind of like Gone Home, but even more stripped down. Just like Gone Home, it doesn't have any traditional puzzles or action or anything like that. And it's intensely focused on narrative. However, Gone Home was a very interactive sort of tactile game where you could pick up almost anything. You could touch stuff, you could throw it, you could rotate it around and dump every plate that you find on the dinner table into the bathtub if you wanted to. But the old city Leviathan doesn't have any of that. The world is what it is, and you can't pick anything up or change anything, really. And this gave everything a really dead feeling to me. Which is actually quite appropriate, since it is, after all, a game about 
loneliness and decay. And not just decay of the environment, but decay of the mind. Which brings me back to what the game says when you first enter it. You are about to inhabit a broken mind. Not everything you see or hear is trustworthy. The game has a very dreamlike feeling to it. But not a pleasant dream. More like a dream that violently swings between pleasant and nightmarish. And it's often hard to know what's real and what's not. This game may not have any traditional progress blocking puzzles. But it does have the puzzle of trying to figure out what is reality which becomes increasingly difficult as what you see becomes more fantastical with every step. Despite how dead and lifeless everything is, it's actually a very beautiful game, as you've probably already been able to see for yourself. There's some really breathtaking scenes, and there's a nice little minimalistic score that comes in at just the right times to accentuate certain scenes. The Old City, Leviathan, is a very simple game in terms of how you interact with it. There's no progress blocking challenge, no inventory, no branching story. There's just you, wandering around the environment, trying to make sense of it all. And with it being so focused on the narrative, the quality of the narrative is absolutely vital, and thankfully it nails it. It's a very depressing game, and I was worried that it might kind of just wallow in the depression and not really go any deeper than that. But it actually does. It's actually a very intelligent game, and it delves really deeply into a bunch of heavy topics. And despite having no traditional progress blocking challenge, it's actually a very emotionally challenging game. It's just wonderfully written, and I haven't felt this engaged in a story in a game in a long time. It's sad and beautiful and bittersweet and strange and depressing. It's a whole bunch of things all at the same time. But despite how sad it is, despite being one of the loneliest, most isolating feelings I've ever gotten playing a game, it does have a little bit of hope. It's not completely devoid of hope. There is a very small light at the end of the tunnel. If you're interested in playing it for yourself, you can get The Old City Leviathan from Steam, which I'll have a link to in the description. Thanks for watching.